Hello, hello, everybody. Phenomenal Sir coming at you with our second stream of the day. This is our regularly scheduled stream, our regularly scheduled retro jank stream. We're going to be doing some Little Nemo the Dream Master tonight, which I haven't played in quite some time. Um, but I've been looking forward to it. I've actually, like, decided I was going to play it this week, like a week ago. And I've been, like, humming the theme songs ever since. Um, it's going to be super fun. Um, we're not going to... I'm not going to run a clock or anything. We're just going to enjoy it. It's going to be a shorter stream because we did play most of Croc Legend of the Gobos this morning, which is officially the worst game I've ever played. Um, sort of a few, like, actually just broken games that I played. No. It'll be a... It'll be a speed run up to the start of the first level, and then after that, it's a fun run. <laughs> Welcome in, Joey. I am forbidden under contract from running speed of any game. So, anyway, Kyrea won't let me. As it should be. What's going on? Here we go. You going? No. <laughs> Apparently, I'm a filthy cheater when it comes to that, so... Can we get this to work, please? Does not work in full screen mode. Only works in window mode. That's right. That is a thing, isn't it? Alright. Well, I guess in theory, I could do this. And then, there we go. Do it that way. What? The princess has chosen you to be her playmate. <laughs> wow, really? But if she's a princess, then she must be a girl. Right? I never played with girls before. She's not just a girl. She's a princess. Bet she's still a girl. Well, anyway, she asked me to give you this present. A present? Really? What is it? Candy! Free candy from a clown that descends from the sky when I should be in bed. Oh, I like candy. Anyone smart enough to give gimme give candy can't be all, all bad. Even if she is a girl. Well... I guess I can go as long as I don't have to kiss her. He's a kid with his priorities straight. This is set in 1905 in New York. There we go. Little Nemo, the Dream Master, the only one. Mushroom Forest. Here we go. Aw, oh, speedrun's dead. Sorry, Joey. If I, you know, I could have set a PB if I had successfully jumped past this guy, but... Hey, little boy. What are you doing here? This place is too dangerous for little boys. But if you've got your mind set on staying here, I should tell you a secret. Many of the creatures here will give you a ride if you feed them candy. You can ride for as long as you like. Press select to stop. Also, many doors are locked. You will need to collect a different key for each lock in order to get through. By the way, my name is Flip. You'll never see me again. Cool. Oh. Great. Take my candy, frog. It's been a while since we've played some good old-fashioned Nintendo-level jank. Stunned him.
Oh, ho, ho, ho. he was on the boot. And that, he just flipped off, he did. Flipped away. actually jump over this guy without taking damage, can I? Oh, I can. Okay. Go me. Heat! sound how's the game sound y'all everything good and balanced also welcome in yellow and joey i know i didn't technically say hello to either one of you but i'm glad you're here dream two flower garden <clears throat> Hi, Nemo. This is the Magic Flower Garden. You know, my friend Oompy wants to meet you. He lives under the water. <laughs> Everybody floats down there. Right? Whee! Water's kind of purple. I don't know if that's just me or if that's the... the, uh... video. Water and his hair are the same color. Purple. Hi, Nemo. You're going to need the lizard's help to get through this next area. Look in the trees for him. Okay. Thanks for nothing, Oompy. <coughs> oh. <coughs> oh god, the jank is killing me. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, the... I don't know, the picture, the color seems a little off on this picture. I remember it being quite so purple on this stage. Oh. Oh. Correct. Alright. First key, go me. Remember, y'all, we're dealing with Capcom spikes here. So instant death. got some wacky dreams. He needs to stop drinking soda pop before bedtime. Is my opinion. Oh wait. Oh I messed this up. Hang on. There's a there's a key up there I need to get. <clears throat> oh when you get hit you get knocked upwards just a little bit. So that's actually really dangerous. 
there. Oh, enemies didn't spawn. Oh, yeah, there they are. I was gonna say, the enemies didn't spawn. Cool. <laughs> Yay, me. So much spike allergy. I'm, yes. <clears throat> Pretend like the spikes are bees and you're allergic to bees and also spikes are spikes. Here comes everybody's favorite level. Right? The House of Toys, also known as Train Ride to Nowhere. Oh, the double. I, I knew it. I knew I shouldn't have gone for the one-up, but I, I did it anyway. I was like, you know, I'm making a mistake here. I made the mis- well, the first mistake I made was I thought about making a joke that I was gonna beat it on the first try. And I was like, ah, oh, see now that you thought that, you're, you're boned. <laughs> I'm still pretty sure that some of these are random, really and truly. <laughs> ah. That one up is just a filthy lie designed to break your heart, shatter your dreams. I don't care. I shouldn't have taken that hit. That was dumb of me, but that's fine. Ho 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 ho! Let's not take any unnecessary risks. Run, 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 run! Take the hits! Don't care! <laughs> alright, alright, guys. Oh! The double bomb right at the end! Oh! We, we made it so far! <laughs> I can't even be mad because it's just totally random. It's not even the game being dirty. It's just bad luck. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, fuck me, I guess. No! I just want that... Damn, wanna... Oh, there we go. Okay, we got it, we got it. We're good, we're good, we're good. We made up for one of our deaths. Nope, got scared. Got scared. I'll regret that later. Here it comes. Regerts. Oh, fuck. I'm dead. I'm already dead. I know I'm dead. Right there. I know I'm dead. I'm not going to make it through this. Uh, oh, shit. 
game just closed. That was cool. The game literally just closed while I was playing it. What? It's frozen now. No. Oh, you buttholes. There we go. <laughs> Hang on. One second. I gotta close everything that's in the background so I don't dox myself or anything. Alright, there we go. Oh, now the game is frozen again. What the hell? Now, listen here, Nemo. Don't be an asshole. Yeah, I 100% I, I just got done dirty. You know, I was just talking about how the game wasn't dirty, it was just random, and then it did a dirty. <laughs> I was soiled. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, it's definitely random. Can't can't tell me it's not random. Cause that time only one of the only one of the uh, um hot air balloons actually dropped a bomb, and last time they both dropped one. Hence, random. Boom. dirty. So one and then both. Probably should have save stated at the start of this, huh? <coughs> <coughs> uh, so this is why we don't do this as a speed run, Joey. This stage. This is why we don't speed run it. Because I think that the world record, like, would the person would be done in two minutes from now. <laughs> Game's almost over on the speed run. Right? Oh, I hate those. No, no. Oh. But you know what? After this level, it's all smooth sailing right up until you get the um Right up until you get to the the flame bit in the nightmare nightmare land. So there's only two hard parts in this whole game, and it's this stage and the last stage. Other than that, it's all fun. Well, and and the sky area, but we don't talk about the sky area. Sky area is less difficult and more just not fun. the worst enemy in the entire game why would hot air balloons even have bombs in 1905 it doesn't seem like a good conflation of technology <laughs> those two types of tech don't mix
Emo, what are you doing? Get back in the bed. Hey, Nemo, if you share your candy with the hermit crabs, they'll take you where you want to go. <laughs> Home. Oh, dirty. Okay. Hover crab. Activate. Be <laughs> gone. Leave me alone. Why are you even here? Tadpoles are not saltwater creatures. <coughs> oh, I think I did that backwards. That's okay. Gotta be careful because this fish is a little floaty. Oh. Bastard frog. <laughs> Stupid demon frog. I knew as I jumped, I was like, yeah, that's too much. Too much, too much oomph. this okay oh, 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 oh okay you out they give you a five key door when the others have always been six got you looking for a key that doesn't exist oh what's gotten into you why can't you stay in bed i'm asleep right now have another have another whiskey mom Jeez. yelling at me for being asleep Nemo, I think we're in your house. Good talk. This one, this stage does have some pretty crappy enemies in the form of these flying turtle things. Boom. You know, I've tried to watch this movie a couple of times as an adult, and I always fall asleep. Like, I put it on when I'm going to bed at night. I really need to, 
like actually try to watch this because I think it would be an interesting experience to watch the actual animated film that this game is based on. Well, this game is there's an animated film that's based on a comic strip from like the 1890s or something crazy. Um, but yeah. Look, I'm doing this stage out of order now. Listen here, Mr. Lizard. <laughs> Don't randomly run towards me. Alright. Yump. Yump. Lizard's like, my job's done. Sounds like I'm really getting invested. Which part, Yellow? Part when I was like, no! Ah! Ah! That part? <laughs> That's my baseline level of investment in any game. Me screaming, oh god, no, over and over. As things go horribly awry. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm a real fan. <clears throat> no, it's on YouTube. I know it is. I've pulled it up a couple of times, and I don't think I've actually made it to the point where Nemo, like, leaves his house. I usually just, I, I just turn on stuff for, like, white noise while I'm going to bed at night, and that's something that just puts me right out. I don't know if that's a particularly glowing endorsement for the movie. I think it's specifically because it's something I'm not invested in, you know? Because if it was something I, like, really cared about, I would stay up all night and watch it and be tired in the morning. More tired than usual in the morning. Here we go. Yep. There's there's really I you know, it's very difficult to get through that little section without taking a hit. That's just life. You just get hit there. I don't even know if there's supposed to be turtle shells or acorns or what. Probably should have gone up there first, huh? I was reading a review about this game, and somebody specifically called out the, the hitboxes on these little blocks as one of the reasons they don't like this game. I'm like, I mean, yeah, but there's better things to hate. Seven. Six. Well, I hope those blocks stay broken, because otherwise I'm going to be a very sad boy. Oh, wait. Okay, we're good. 
those blocks didn't stay broken, I'm going to be sad, and I'm almost positive they don't. Because why would they? It's a Nintendo game, right? They shouldn't stay broken. Because it's a Nintendo game. Oh, they stayed broken! Go me! Whee! <laughs> we did it! Again, what does it take to get you to just sleep? I've heard there's a ruined city in the clouds. Thank you, sir. Wow. Wow. <laughs> yep. Get out of here. <laughs> oh. And here comes the pollen. Allergy season. In dreamland. <clears throat> now, if I'm not mistaken, and I usually am, Fairly certain we can shortcut past this. <gasps> oh, why is he that color? Like this? Oh, that's a spike. Okay, that's not the thing. There's a spot. There's a spot in this stage where you can like use that lizard to basically skip a big chunk of that. Am I going to fall off? I don't even trust it. Didn't know if that slopey bit was walkable or not. Okay. <laughs> He's charging! Yeah, there's a spot... <clears throat> Because I, I know I've seen it from like speed runs and stuff where you can you can climb up and then like jump forward and um, the lizard will just like skip a chunk of this and then grab the very bottom edge of a wall. But apparently those are spikes, so that's not the spot. Yeah, you can basically just, like, jump over this whole part for whatever it's worth. Oh, no. Oh, I have to have the frog, huh? 
Okay. So the lizard's pointless. Okay, at least the bottoms of the spikes are... Do I jump higher as Nemo or something? Is that is that the trick there? I I don't now I don't know how to actually get through this part legit. <laughs> Gotta be it. Yeah. You come over here. Come on. Don't don't don't. Okay. That's a really sketchy jump. Hmm. As I did it, I was like, that's a stupid thing. Why would you choose that? Oh, it puts me all the way back here. That's so annoying. <laughs> Chose poorly, y'all. <laughs> it's been so it's been like a year since I think I streamed this game. I could... Okay, no. That guy needs to go away. There we go. Okay. I do not want him on the screen the entire time I'm doing this. Because I have had that happen before. And that was horrible. For sure, I jumped too soon on that one. Ooh. Ooh. <clears throat> e. Why me? Do everyone else's kids give them this much trouble about sleeping? Meanwhile, this kid's like having night terrors and mom just doesn't care. Popsy Kirby. When are you going to speedrun this one? Feels like a yellow speedrun game. Full of hate and sorrow. Like most of the games you speedrun. <laughs> Yeah. 
It is, I mean, there are a couple of spots in the game that are kind of BS, but it is a fun game. Like, it is fun. You know, I, I, I'm not known for my patience when it comes to retro games, so I don't know if that helps or not, but like, the fact that I can get through runs of it and not be completely miserable, I think most normal people would enjoy it. Oh, I missed a freaking key back there. Damn it. Well, I think I messed up this whole stage. Yeah, I missed a key back there. I don't know. No, no. So will the blocks stay gone again? So the trick with these guys is you just basically wait until they start to drop. They'll home in on you forever if you don't stop moving. And that's how you run into the issues like I was having on my first few playthroughs. Where they would just chase me forever. And there was like no way to get away from them. It's because I was dumb. You just essentially have to be patient with those enemies. It's fun. It's not the worst Capcom platformer that I've played on the NES. It's fairly short. Like I was saying, the speed run for it's like 20 minutes, 25 minutes. It only has a couple of really big skips. Um, one of which is massive in the last stage. But for the most part, it's pretty much just like play the game and have fun. The final stage is pretty nasty. Well, a couple of specific spots in the final stage are pretty nasty. But, um... Oh, I think I might have fucked myself. Yeah, I fucked myself. Uh, I, was, I knew part of this had a bottomless, like, had, like, no floor. I couldn't remember which part. Oh, is there no checkpoint in this stage? Oh, that's poopy. No checkpoints in this stage, y'all. We're gonna do the whole thing over again. Probably because they don't expect you to just jump into a bottomless pit for no reason. Yeah, inconsistency of checkpoints can be a, a bit of a B. But... Oh, boo. I disagree. can't imagine, yeah. Like right there. That was dumb of me. Trying to skip past him. There we go. I've already got the keys. Thank you. No. Disagree. Give me that one up. 
He was running right at me. With murder in his eyes. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I didn't think I'd be able to. Oh, fuck me! Really? I thought it was five! You only get four. Oh, damn it. Okay, so you can only, you can only, like, move your wings four times. I thought it was five. So, that's why I died there. I literally just don't know how the power-ups work. Because I've only played this game about 20 times. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the bee, the bee has a limited number of wing flaps, and then he needs to, you need to land and rest again. And I thought it was five, but it's not. Shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done that either. <laughs> I'm getting sloppy now. That's what she said. What? Alright. Y'all. There. Dodge the plates. This is not supposed to be a hard level. <laughs> It's not four. Maybe I'm just dumb. Oh, it's six. I don't know why it... Okay. I don't know why it cut me off so quickly before then. One, two, three, four. I'm like talking about how great the game is as I'm getting completely destroyed but every time I play this I think that's a solid wall every time I forget that you can walk through that oh Oh, there it is. Woo! <laughs> we did it. <laughs> oh. Camilla. Welcome to Slumberland, Nemo. I gave her a weird voice. I'm Princess Camilla. Pleased to meet you. How come you... wanted to meet me? 
Is she thirsty? The truth is, my father, King Morpheus, was kidnapped <coughs> by the King of Nightmareland. There he is. What's Nightmareland? Well, it's a place where candy falls from the heavens. It's the land of bad dreams. The Nightmare King is plotting to take over all of Slumberland and destroy Night's nice Dreams forever. Oh no! Please help me, Nemo. Rescue my father and defeat the Nightmare King. <laughs> um, I don't think I can. I'm just a little boy. I can't fight the Nightmare King. <laughs> Apparently the speedrun for this in Japanese is like several minutes faster just because the dialogue is so is so janky in the English version like how slow it is and everything. I don't know how to use a morning star. Who do you think I am anyway? I have no idea. I spent I spent a lot of time trying to convince members of the Jank Bros to speedrun this or to at least try it and nobody would so that I know of. I know we have a couple of people in the community that speedrun it. In fact I think one of them, I don't know if they're still a member, but I think at one point one of the Jank Bros members is actually like one of if not the top Little Nemo speedrunner. Um... I tried very hard to get people to play it. I even put it in the jank races and everyone hated it. I don't know. People people hate this game. I I don't see it. I mean there's some spots there's some spots in it that are that are really shitty, but overall I think it's a solid Capcom title. It's from nineteen eighty nine. I mean, it's an earlier Capcom title, but I think it's good. I don't I don't understand why more people don't play it. I really don't. Like, I know that sometimes I just have bad taste in games, but, um, or like, I will, I'll say not non-conventional taste in games, but this one I really don't get. Okay, we need health. Now. Yep, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I was like, yep. We're gonna get killed here. Pretty good little jams though. The soundtrack's not terrible. Doing its best.
Oh, I thought I was dead there. Oh, I really do wish you'd die, though. <laughs> there we go. First boss down. Hair down! I got you, hippie. <sighs> Thank you. Now, this is the part of the game that I hate the most. This is where the big skip comes in. It's also where all the bullshit occurs. This little section here is my least favorite in the game. So the pollen starts. Yeah, the pollen is absolute booty in this part. I mean, the fire is bad enough, but the pollen just kind of like randomly dropping in from above. The little nightmare spores or whatever they're called are the worst. Okay. Yeah. I, I knew I was going to die going through that at least once. Oh, shit. Don't touch me, bro. Bro, bro, don't touch me, bro. Yeah, I would much prefer to just, like, skip this little part. Oh my god. Ah. I don't think they did, Hippie. Yoshi was actually supposed to be in an earlier Mario title and they cut him, believe it or not. I mean, not, not 1989 title, but I'm pretty sure Yoshi was supposed to be in Mario 3, if I'm not mistaken. But no, I don't think they got, I don't think they got the idea from this. Fucking dickweed. Really? 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 
That is bullshit. That one I'm upset about. Yeah, that one right there is absolute bullcrap. Oh my god. Well, yeah, let me just die again. I told y'all, this is, this is the worst part of the entire game right here. Other than this, it's all fun and games. Welcome in, MJ. Just in time to see me get fussy. We're in the... <clears throat> like, third to last screen of, of Little Nemo. And we're gonna game over here, I'm sure. I think when you get a game over in Nightmare Land, you go back to the very beginning and you have to fight the penguin guy again. Not sure. Yep. Okay. Hang on. There. <laughs> I save stated there. My first save state of the, the run. Alright, come on, stupid pollen. And then you gotta go back again. There we go. You gotta go back through this whole thing a second time with a much slower creature. And this is the part that's really terrible. Uh, well, that's not the only part, but you know. So, the skip... The skip here is if you can get... If you can damage boost up to this space, like that little top spot, so this is this is like the major skip in this game, is if you can somehow manipulate those pollen into damage boosting you up onto that ledge with the lizard, when you get to this section, this, this spiked ceiling is going to start dropping like it was doing in stage three, and you're actually immune to damage because they never programmed damage for spiked ceilings when you're on the lizard like it's really weird like so what is actually a really fraught and perilous part of the game suddenly you just you just walk forward <laughs> like you can't take damage when you're going through this section <laughs> and that's the major skip well Oh, they're immune to candy, okay. Really? <laughs> now we're gonna start getting bees. Which are gonna fly right through my hitbox and then kill me. See, this is this is this is the part I, I'm still not good enough to not save state here. <sighs> I I still need to save state in this part because I just don't I don't it doesn't click for me. Nope, I'm dead. Yep. And that would have been that would have been a game over right there, and I would have had to go back three levels or three screens to get to here again. And that would have been the least fun anyone would have ever experienced. Right? Right. They don't tell you this, but you actually have to hold up while you jump out of the water to gain extra air. Nope, I'm dead. Fuck me in the booty. Uh, with spikes. 
There we go. Uh, I want to get good enough that I don't have to use the states to beat this. Right? Oh, no. But until then, saves come. There we go. Okay. Oh, it's, it's really not... I mean, there's only, like, two or three spots in this entire game that are really, really bad, MJ. But the spots that are bad are pretty bad. What do you do? Got him. Oh, shit. I hit him. Oh. Well, here I come. Here comes death. I tried to duck it. Did you see? I tried so hard to duck it. <laughs> life y'all <laughs> oh all right who to have an animal right now oh I don't know what I did there there we go time for sippies I don't think I actually have any sippy oh no I got a little bit of ginger ale left all right here we go y'all No! Oh, you piece of shit. I don't disagree. <laughs> a lot of the enemies, their tracking is based on proximity to you, so trying to run from them just messes you up more than if you, um, had just let them chase after you to begin with. Like, you just wait for them to do their thing, it makes it easier for you. Oh, I don't trust you. Okay. 
I don't know which. I didn't know which way he was gonna try to run. I think we get like a, a one-up cave gives us some extra lives and health and stuff here right yeah Oh, why did I do that? I'm so dumb. Literally jumped right on top of him. Hi guys, I'm pro gamer. Good to meet you. And there's nothing even there. All right. Lasers. Gonna take a minute, y'all. <laughs> gotta learn the patterns. Okay. We got extra lives. We saved scummed. We'll be okay. Nightmare King isn't terrible if you don't let his clouds get out of hand. Like... If you just... Don't do what I've done for the last two ones. Oh, that's... Oh, he did both at the same time. There was no nothing I could do there. That's just mean. <laughs> That's just cruel. Okay. Alright, we save stated before we started this, so... This is just a... Can we beat it? This isn't a... Making history. Oh, I... I jumped too soon and then I panicked. I don't know. I don't know what that was. <laughs> okay. making all kinds of hand gestures some kind of gang sign that he's making at me oh <laughs> oh only a moderate amount of save scumming was required <laughs> all right 
Caveman Santa Claus rewards us for our amazingness. The asshole up the street is going to work, shaking the pictures on my walls with his speakers. Don't mention it. I was just keeping my promise to the princess. Well, thank you for the GGs, Yelith, but I don't I don't know that they were necessarily well-earned GGs, you know? Having to having to save scum like I did just to just to get through it. But overall it was fun. Didn't have to use any save states until we got to the end bit. Got a little spooky with the fire and everything, but I can do better in the future. This one this is one that we're gonna start putting in the regular rotation for nights when I don't want to stream a super long time. I wanna like put in an appearance and then go. Um so yeah. Oh, it'll be such fun. So, the GG's, while not earned, are appreciated. And, to that end, I'm not going to play through this a second time. I'm just going to, this is just a short stream today. I mean, we, we streamed for like four hours earlier, played Croc. It was terrible. Um, I don't recommend that anybody play Croc, Legend of the Gobos. Um, not a good game, in my opinion. <clears throat> But maybe in the future we'll do once I get comfortable like playing through the whole thing without save states maybe I'll play it multiple times but I'm very tired today and I know tomorrow is going to be miserable so and it gives me a chance to see Calrea a little bit so that's been Little Nemo Little Nemo Master of the Dreams. Garlic Grove is playing Link's Awakening. Which version is it? Oh, it's the Switch version. Nice. So I think we're going to raid Garlic. Garlic is awesome. Um, Y'all don't know Garlic. You're about to. Oh. Anyway. Letting the, letting the, uh, thing play through. Letting it do its thing. <sighs> oh, and it looks to be a new, a new playthrough as well. He's in, he's in the village with, uh, three hearts, so... Game designer, Mickey. <laughs> Character design, Tompon. That's an unfortunate name. All right, everybody. So, this has been fun. Like I said, not a super long stream because it's the second stream of the day. And I'm a little tired, which I always am when I stream at night, but um, we're going to go raid Garlic. Garlic's playing Link's Awakening for the Switch. It's an awesome game. It's one of my favorite games. Um, it's a, unlike Croc, which is a one and a half star game, I consider all versions of, Legends of Ze Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening to be a five star experience, and hopefully you will too. We're going to start the raid now. I'll be back on Wednesday, probably with Super Metroid, maybe more game dev, probably Super Metroid, though. Um, I'm glad... Hiccups. I'm glad you did as well, Hippie Huff, and I, hopefully I'll see you tomorrow as well. Um, but yeah, thanks everybody who came in tonight and hung out. Thank you everybody who was here earlier today and then came back. And to the followers who may or may not be lurking, I saw we had a couple new follows pop up over the last little bit. Um, thank you, and I hope to see you again shortly. Um, but until next time, stay healthy, stay safe out there, y'all. Later.